Hey everyone, so today I'm going to unbox something that arrived in the mail. It even has this nice caution tape on it. Um, so let's uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. And if you've read the title already, I guess you probably know. Maybe? We'll see. Weird packing. I mean, look at it. They like, used caution tape to connect. Ah, whatever. Some uh, paperwork. So, yeah. Look at that. We have the deluxe edition of the Breath of the Wild uh, Link Nendoroid. This is actually my first ever Nendoroid. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and change up camera angles here so I can give you some up-close look at this and I will unbox it where you can see all the fine details and I'll talk about my impressions of it. Yeah, so here's a look at the front of the box. You see it's 733DX, got the official licensed product Nintendo seal there. I'm turning it on the side here. It's by the Good Smile Company. And the other side. I really like, uh, they did this with some other Breath of the Wild products, this clear see-through symbol. I really like that. And look, you can kind of see, uh, stand it up here, you can kind of see the uh, some of the different poses they have there. With the axe and the club and eating food. On the back is just really cool. Uh, you see one of the poses you can do with him on the horse, standing next to the horse, uh, again with the axe. And on this side, again, standing next to the horse, on the horse again. Pretty cool stuff. I'll show you the top quick. Again, the biggest thing to take away here is the Good Smile Company. So there are two versions of this, the deluxe version and obviously the non-deluxe version. Non-deluxe version doesn't come with uh, Epona, and I think some of the things in here comes with some, not others. Uh, yeah, as I said, my first Nendoroid, and before I open it, I just want to let people know that, full disclosure, I did not pay for this product. It was sent to me by a company called Merchoid. They are a company that I used to work with a lot over at Zelda Informer, uh, specifically on the Facebook page. Um, and I actually requested this item. I mean, you can see on here. Um, let's see what I can show you. Oh, let's see here. Look at this. Look at all these items that I requested. So I requested these items before Breath of the Wild even came out. And it took this long to ship because this thing had not released yet. Now, I don't know how easy this is to get. Um, I will put a link down in the description to purchase it. The deluxe version is pretty pricey. I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but it's pretty expensive. Uh, but yeah, I'll put a link to the deluxe version and the non-deluxe version if you like what you see. So let's open it up. Ooh. As always in unboxings, you need to be prepared. There is tape. It's peeling. Oh. Ah. And... For like the first time I've ever taken one of these stickers off, it did not do any rips on the box. Awesome, so I get to preserve the box. Hopefully. Alright. Oh, I think I had it the right way. Oops. Oh, that opens up. Yeah, so there's... Oh, look at that. There's all the interchangeable parts. So what's really cool about Nendoroids is that they are extremely posable. Um, there's a stand for it. You can do a lot of crazy things. Uh, yeah, so once I get this open and we take a close look at each individual piece, um, we'll do some cutaway and I'll show you some B-roll footage of some different poses I came up with, both the ones maybe on the box and ones that I just make up. So what I'm always scared about in opening this is their tape feels like there should be tape. <laughs> What I'm always scared about in opening products like this is how small some of these parts are. I mean, look, the stand fell out. There's little things on it. Uh, this is just... It. I don't want to lose anything. Oh, there goes the Sheikah Slate. Oh, boy. Lots of stuff. So there's the tiny... Tiny little Sheikah slate. It's double sided, which is great. Uh, there's what looks like a chicken wing, a chicken drum. We have, of course, the ancient arrows. 
Uh, I'm not sure which sword this is. Obviously not the Master Sword, but there is a Boko Club. Oh, okay, we'll look at Epona here in a second. There is a bow. I forget which bow this is. I do not see a string. Let's see if I can get the focus. I do not see a string right now. Uh, so I don't know. There might not be a string included. It's one of the heads there. I'll set the, the big guy aside here. All right. Is there another? All right. Here is the shield. I forget which shield this is. It's one of the ones you can get towards the beginning of the game. Pretty cool. I know it's not like a pot lid. I forget what it is. Giant axe. And it doesn't want to focus on the axe. Uh, we have a fake sheath for the sword. I don't know if it'll focus because of the hole. There you go. See, it's a fake sheath. It's just for show. All right. And then we got the little parts underneath. Now, these ones are taped in. And these are the individual parts. So let's see if I can show them to you quick. So you see extra arms and hands and different things, uh, legs. These are to do different poses. Now let's get into the main event. First up, oh, got to be very careful here. Uh, while these figures are, you know, toys of some type, uh, they're more meant for presentation than like playing. Like you're not going to bash this in with other, other toys and stuff. All right, got all the plastic pulled off. So there is Mr. Link from Breath of the Wild. Pretty cool. Uh, everything like fully moves. The legs move back and forth. The arms move. Uh, the head swivels and tilts. The body obviously disconnects because uh, you can swap these with other Nendoroids and give them like different legs and all that stuff. The head also comes off. Uh, here's the arrow satchel it comes with on with arrows in it. Pretty neat. Then we have our second head. A little piece of plastic protecting the eyeballs. Okay. This is obviously the one with the, the hood, the signature hood from the game. In the main outfit. Pretty cool. And obviously, as you can see, there are two different facial expressions you can use. It looks like him yelling and him smiling. And we got to look at one of the biggest things that comes with the this version that does not that oh that is exclusive to the deluxe version. And that is the horse. Now this horse is not oh tail came off. That this horse is not Epona. And another piece just flew off. That's the beauty of these. Everything's removable, but the sad thing is, as I am uh, unboxing this, um, I'm losing parts. See, there's a little part right here that flew off. Might have to cut away and go find that. But uh, really struggling with this plastic, man. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Don't want to break it. Okay, it's starting to come off. Poor Epo uh, Epona, or poor horse. So just a basic brown horse in the game. Got it off. Didn't break anything. I don't think. Okay, good. The mane goes back down. All right. I'm going to get this part off the back. I bet you take that off. And that off. So we will reattach. And I have to go off and find that little part that flew off. But yeah, this is the big part that comes with the uh, deluxe version. The reins there, so. All right, well, let's cut away and show you some poses I came up with. All right, guys. I'm not going to lie, um, I wasn't prepared for this. I have never owned a Nendoroid before. So what I'm about to say is obviously the experience of a first-time Nendoroid owner. Uh, I love how customizable everything is, but because everything is so customizable, the head comes off, the face comes off. Let's see if I can show you an example of the, the face coming off. I actually never took a face off. because I think the hair comes off first. Well, whatever. Anyways, everything comes apart. Uh, as you see, I have a handful of, uh, of different parts here. And uh, as you saw in the B-roll footage, 
of the only pose I set up. This pose took me an hour to set up. Uh, it, it probably won't take you at home an hour to set up, especially if you have experience with Nendoroids. Uh, the reason it got to take me an hour to set up is just watch this. I'll be glancing around, bump the table. Oh, bump the table, and there it goes. Um, the pose I was trying to get, and why it took so long, is I was trying to get the horse up in the air uh, with, uh, you know, Link on back, but because Link is so top-heavy, it actually falls backwards, and there's no connection point to the back of the horse uh, to make it stay. Now, there is a plug here, but that plug is just to put this saddle on. So if you want to have just a horse in the back of a shot, you could. And it does come with a set of instructions. Uh, so it very much uh, lets you know how to put everything together. But even with the set of instructions, it took me forever uh, swapping between different hands to figure it out. Uh, it's very, it's a very much a finicky thing. Um, n this Nendoroid and Nendoroids in general are very much a uh, something you need to have patience for. And something you need to like messing with. It's very much a posable figure. Let, let me just remind you, this is not a toy. Um, to give you an example of why it's also not a toy, you see this? This is one of the support bars. And I don't know how well it's showing up, but it, I actually um, physically started to bend it as I was using it. Uh, so the plastic started changing colors, which means I weakened the plastic a little bit using it. Uh, again, this is not a knock on Nendoroid. This is very much what Nendoroids are. They are a finicky... Uh, <laughs> thing that has all these you know things that you could do all these different poses with uh, i'll probably end with a little montage showing uh images of what it looks like uh just because i'm afraid to keep uh trying to pose it because i don't want to break anything um i'm basically going to go through this um this little sheet here find one pose i really really like set this thing up and put it in a spot where i know i'm not going to knock a table not going to knock it down and i can just sit back and enjoy link imagining him on an adventure in Breath of the Wild. But yeah, this is a, a definitely a very interesting. What it reminds me the most of are things like model planes, uh, the patience you have to have putting those together. Um, and while those are actually a, a lot more complex, uh, I haven't put anything together like that in a long time. So even just getting the sword and shield in his hand was an adventure to me. I had to swap out hands, swap out arms. Uh, I didn't swap out legs. Like, you can put this leg on where he stands on one leg and then the one leg's in the back, and you can do, like, the archer. I originally tried getting him to hold like this, and it wasn't working for me. Um, yeah, th this isn't a knock on the product. This is actually a fantastic little product. Uh, I've seen some people doing some amazing poses. Look, I just got him to stand on his own. Uh, yeah, and, and what I really like about this, obviously, is that it uses, it uses a screenshot from uh, the game in the background there. So I'm definitely not going to throw the box out. In fact, I'm going to put a lot of these little parts back in the packaging and put them back in the box just so I don't lose them. And I will only pull it out if I want to chase Link's pose. But it's a very interesting thing. Uh, it's almost like a little bit like a puzzle. <laughs> um, I like it. Even though it takes me a long time to get it right, I like it. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get your own, links to this deluxe version and the non-deluxe version, which does not include the horse, is in the description below. Otherwise, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffajans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And yeah, I'm going to go spend the next couple hours getting this in the exact pose I want. Peace out. Enjoy the montage of the different poses.